Okay, so I think this little uh, gnome home needs an extra window right here. So let's cut to the chase and carve a little window in there. Yep. Jordy, I like the new window, but what is it? What do you mean, what is it? Well, what is it? It's a goddamn swimming pool. <laughs> wow, Jordy, it's pretty bright. What do you mean it's bright? Well, it's pretty bright. Well, I'm not goddamn finished it yet, okay? Jesus! <laughs> okay, so here's what we got. I painted it, burnt it, and sanded it. You know, last night I was thinking about it and all the stuff, and you know, like I could have made a little roof coming off here. There's so much stuff I could have done. You know, and guys, I'm not a big fan of painting my carvings. I, I like the wood to show, right? But you know, you, I just have to remember this is for kids in the kindergarten and grade one. Like how old are they? Four, like five, four or five years old? I'm not too sure. Five or six years old. So do you guys want your kids to live in a black and white world? You know, if I was going to have a new kid, I wouldn't want it to live in a black and white world. You know, when we were young, we had Mr. Rogers and stuff like that to look at, you know. So this can hopefully open their mind when it's at the school and when they see it, you know, colors and shapes. I think that age is they're at, right? Like colors and shapes. So we got circles here. We got different colors here. Yeah, I know the blue and reds don't go together in the color scale, but I don't give a shit, man. Like, like, am I, am I breaking the law by putting blue and reds together? Yellows and greens? Look, blue and red. Okay, if the blue and red color code didn't go together why how come superman's colors are blue and red tell me that for all the pro artists out there you know so i think it's pretty neat you know when i was doing the sanding the red came off under the yellow and i'm like i don't care it makes it look older and more patinaed right i just don't care you know and when you start caring well Whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to keep going off on this. But anyways, let's, uh, let's, uh, I got to carve some mushrooms. You think this is bright? <laughs> Wait till I start carving the mushrooms right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now on to the mushrooms, all right? Let's look at this thing a little bit more. This is in the, so you get the actual light of it. But uh, so let's move on to the mushrooms. So I got to remember that these mushrooms are going to be in like a playground for kids, a sandbox or something like that, right? So I want them to be, um, this is western red cedar, I want them to be fastened to the ground. Okay, so this is what I did for the spirit trails. I got this uh, spade bit on this drill. And I'm going to drill a hole in there about six inches deep. So when it's done, get out there you little wood bug. Freeway. When it's done, I can drive some rebar into the ground, uh, put some PL9000 into this hole, and it will fasten it to the rebar, right? So I'm going to get these holes done on these uh, three mushrooms, and then we'll start curving them. And Tammy, here's a shout out to Tammy, Gypsy Rose. Here's your mushroom video. I know you can carve them, Tammy, but whatever. Just want to say I love you, and uh, you're great, and keep, keep up the great work for carvings. Six inches deep. Okay, so I got all my holes drilled. I did. I drilled the holes first because it was flat on the bottom and it was easier to do before you start carving the top of the mushrooms round. So this is the bottom is up, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is draw a line. I want these to be like, uh, you can. You guys can make any kind of, you can do chantelles, you can do, what's those other, you can do any kind of mushrooms you want, but I want these just to be kind of like, bigger, kind of have the mushroom shapes. But we don't want them to look like dicks, guys, right? So it's going to be a more solid kind of basic mushroom because the kids are going to be sitting on these and they're going to be jumping on these. And the last thing I'd want is the mushroom head to break off when the little little five or six year old's jumping on it, right? So we're going to make these things pretty solid. So the stalk's going to be really thick. So I'm going to go along, draw a line on all around here. Okay. Yeah, guys, this is, these are very basic carvings, these mushrooms. 
and anybody can do it. So I'm going to go along, pretend this is my chainsaw, okay? This is the blade. I'm going to go along, cut straight in here, maybe about an inch thick or two inches thick inside, okay? I'm going to go along, cut all in this line, and then I'm going to come and bevel. So let's see here. So like that wood, all this wood here is going to be cut away. So the mushroom head's bigger than the stalk, right? Okay. Okay, so that took me not even five minutes. So there you go, you see there's the head. Now we're gonna undo the jaw horse. You guys, these jaw horses are really handy. There's different types in my playlist at my Amazon store down below, or you can get them at your box stores or whatever. So we're gonna undo it. We're gonna turn, sorry. See, we gotta turn it around. Okay, now we're gonna shape our head. Just kind of make the head more uh, rounder. Okay, so I think that makes a good little five-year-old seat. This water wood is, again, not the greatest. So let's do undo our jaw horse. Okay. There we go. There's a silly little mushroom. So what I'm going to do now, just hold on. Okay, so what I'm going to do, once again, this uh, sap wood's not the best friggin' wood. Frick. Anyways, I'm going to run around, clean it up with this... Um, Cuts all shaping disc. If you want to get the cuts all, go to the link. Cuts all link below. Use the code CFusion. Save yourself five percent. It just goes on a little uh, uh, grinder. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up. Okay guys, that's pretty well done, but you can see here it's not the greatest quality, so I got this. I'm going to sand it a bit more with this uh, Orbit sander with 80 grit, okay? It's hook and loop. Okay, then I'll burn it, and I'll paint the top, and I'll burn the bottom deep. Money mushroom. Okay, so I quickly burnt these the um, bottom there with this. Just a little map can. The blue ones are just as well, guys. Okay. Yep. Ah, thank God for coffee. Thank you, Tim Hortons. Thank you. Hey, Glenn. What does that say? Mercy. Mercy. So anyways, guys, 
you know if you don't if you're new to the channel or this uh, video we have a, a really fantastic group on Facebook called carving fusion world of wood carvers very supporting group I don't I haven't had to really delete or block anybody besides one person because there's just no negative talk going on in there and if, as soon as like negative opinions as soon as it happens those people are gone so it's such a great group but hey George George is an admin in the group and uh, so like he he accepts people and removes it's a private group now guys so George but this one here I want to make something very clear George this is Tammy's fault okay it's Tammy's fault Tammy that's your fault damn you Tammy damn you damn you you know if you guys google like uh, ancient old uh, Japanese art you'll see they have mountains and stuff that looks like this okay so this would be called Shosugi Ban so I swear that's where the old art comes from is this style stuff here swear it your fault Tommy it's your fault Okay, so enough of this carving stuff, let's move on to paint. And if you ask why I got this mushroom wrapped in this towel, well, I'm just trying to keep it warm. Okay, so let's, uh, got some spray paint here. Got some pumpkin orange here that I got left from pumpkins. Let's just, uh, spray this on here. Okay. Let's make this one kind of, uh, orange and red. Remember guys, it's for the kids, so. Okay, so we got some, and then we got some red here. So let's just kind of give it a. Thing at the bottom there. There we go. We'll paint some polka dot, white polka dots on it later. Or some, I don't know, maybe that's good. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so let's hit this one with some orange too. We'll just, uh, yeah, you know. Now what's a good color to mix with it? I don't know. I don't have a color schedule here and I don't really care. Oh, we got this blue. Oh, look at that. Kids are gonna love it. Oh, let's touch it up with some more orange. Just read out of Mr. Freakin' Rogers. Let's try a red one. Ah, solid red with white dots. I don't know, we'll see. Let's just see about that. Ah, I've changed my mind. Let's hit the bottom with some Superman blue. Ah, screw it. Let's hit it with some orange, too. <laughs> there we go. Oops. Got some runs in there. Okay, guys. So while the uh, mushrooms are drying, I got the uh, gnome home set outside here. Let's take a look at it outside here. So anyways, I got it set up outside. I got it all blown off. And yesterday I said I was going to put uh, C-Tall on it. But I changed my mind. I want to use uh, spar varnish. Because you think of when you were a kid. Spar's shiny stuff. So I got the gloss stuff. So I'm going to use spar varnish. Because well, it's glossy and it will make it shiny. It's going to take a few coats. Okay. So. What I... Here it is, okay? This was like 86 bucks. Um, clear gloss, Helsman indoor, outdoor, spar urethane, okay? And I got some mineral spirits here, okay? So um, I got this, uh, this is what I use, carnola oil for my chainsaw uh, chains. So I just cut this. I'm gonna pour some of this in, in here and some of this because this stuff's super thick. So I think if I mix it up with the mineral spirits, it will thin it out 
and it will be able to penetrate the wood better for the first coat where the paint isn't where there isn't paint right so let me get it mixed up here and I'll be back okay so I got it all mixed in together now I'm gonna put it on super thick I'm not caring about runs or streaks this is an outdoor piece and it does not matter to me Because I know it's going to go a lot darker from this stuff on here. Okay, so there you guys can see how thick it went on. So I'll finish it up and uh, well, I'll be back. Okay, so here you can see the colors now. They're just not so bright. And guys, that was my intention from the very beginning. Okay, I just soaked that stuff on there guys. It's gonna need a couple coats I believe. You know I'll come back in a day or two and it won't be so shiny because it will dry in the wood. This cedar is very soft and it will have sucked in all the spar. And then I'll put a couple more coats on it. You might as well put more coats on it at first because then it will last a lot longer, right? You gotta remember kids hands and everything are gonna be all over this they're going to be climbing all over it okay so let's uh like look look how you know that roof's not so bright anymore right it's all like antiqued it's just my style of the way i do things that's all you guys will think of your style too okay so now let's go inside and put some uh silly little polka dots on that um on those mushrooms you guys remember that show the polka dot door <laughs> yeah, I should put some white polka dots on that door, yep. Another thing, this sweater here was up there and I pulled it down as a rag, but it had three massive wolf spiders on it. So, three inside of it. So let's just say it's going to probably rain pretty soon. They were huge. They were like massive wolf spiders. Well, I don't have any white paint, so this uh, metallic silver is going to have to do. Anybody wants, I'm going to be selling this paint, carving fusion paint tray after this uh, video if anybody wants to buy it. So let's just kind of put some polka dots on here. That's all you need, stuff like that. Five, six year old guys, they're not going to be picking apart your part work. Maybe when they're going to get older, they're going to be like, you know, they'll have a reunion or something from, I don't know, a kindergarten reunion. And they're all gonna say, you guys remember those shitty mushrooms in the, by the gnome home? Remember those shitty friggin' things? <laughs> paint tray just went up in value, you guys. It's got some blue paint on it now. <laughs> okay, let's put all these paints away. So, I've been waiting for this uh, paint to dry. Kind of cleaned up the bet my workbench, kind of. Well, I did clean it up. Um, I want to finish using the rest of this stuff that's mixed up with the min mineral wax. So I don't know how dry this paint. Well, it's not that dry. But anyways, I want to get this stuff on here. So let's just get it on. But just be gentle not to move the paint too much, I guess. Okay, so I'll get all these done here. Would you look at that? I used it all up. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, okay, so I don't know what I was thinking because I want to get a shot with these mushrooms in the village, the troll, the, the gnome home all together. So maybe I'll let it dry for a bit, have a break, clean up this big pile of sawdust. I don't know. You know? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Do you? Okay, guys, so there they are all together. Um, I think the kids are going to love it. What do you guys think? I still need to make holes in the bottom of this to put rebar in the ground so it's not going to be able to fall over on the kids. <laughs>
but that's it now I gotta bring this stuff back in and uh, let it dry before stuff gets all over it which is happening right now so anyways guys um, I'll put a couple more coats on it I'll show you guys in, a, in like a week or something I'll just do a quick video show you guys what it looks like how shiny it is with a couple more coats on it um, maybe a week or two I don't know do you know I don't know but anyways I've had enough okay bye Oh yeah, about that door, I forgot to tell you.